I'm here with Alicia Cuello, and she's gonna talk with us about mixed messages women give that undermine our credibility and how to communicate more effectively as a leader you know you are. So Alicia, tell yes. me about some of these mixed messages you're talking about. Well, as I've worked with people on their body language skills, what I've noticed is a lot of women give mixed messages. Mm -hmm. And the really interesting thing is it's subconscious. So most yeah. of the time, they don't even realize they're doing it. Oh, wow. The other piece that comes into play is that women are so demonstrative, we don't realize how we're coming across. So okay. when you put those two together, it actually undermines your credibility because we mm -hmm. inadvertently give mixed messages. So what does demonstrative mean as far as women go? Uh, we're very, very expressive with our hands, yes. with our face, with our <laughs> body movements. Uh -huh. And if you watch men, they're much more controlled, much more quiet. Okay. And so when women become really demonstrative and it doesn't match their um, their message, it actually undermines their credibility. Mm -hmm. So what I'm talking about is when you go into a, a room and you say, you, you come across very assertive and you say, you know, I don't agree with that point. Yes. But then you follow up with kind of a giggle. We all oh, do the, yeah, that. Yeah. I've done that so many times. That awkward giggle, like oh, you're not sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what happens is we're actually hardwired to believe your body language. Okay. So when you're giggling or when you're smiling because you're giving something serious, um, people tend to go with your body language and think she's not serious about what she's saying. Yes. And it actually diminishes your credibility in the boardroom, if you will. Okay. So let's say a woman wants to, you know, become more assertive or just kind of come into her power in her own way. The assertive can sometimes be a strong word for some people. Right. But what, it, what are some of the keys to avoid some of those mixed messages? Make sure that you show up with your power and then don't apologize afterwards. Exactly. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. I watch women, they'll come in and they'll say what they want and they'll say, I'm sorry, but. Uh -huh. And in my head, I'm thinking, stop apologizing. Yes. So what you want to do is you want to walk in a room with the right attitude, which is, you know what? I'm here to own what I'm here to do. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to walk in the room with confidence. So you're going to be big. Confident yes. people come in big. Right. And then when you sit down and you start talking, you really need to pay attention to what's going on with your face and your mannerisms. And that takes mm -hmm. practice. That's not something that most people can do overnight because as women, we're conditioned to be more um, demure right. and more plain towards the men. So if I tell you something and you're a man, I might do something like, <laughs> Oh yeah, and kind of look down, <laughs> and it's just we're conditioned that way because in in the corporate world, oh. it's unfortunate, but we don't want to be labeled as being a bitch. And so, assertive women who don't add that feminine touch right. get labeled as being. A bitch. So there's a balance there. You can walk in, be big, be aware of what's going on with your face. So if you're giving some hard um, information, mm -hmm. make sure you're smiling when it's appropriate, but not smiling when it's not appropriate. Yes. So like, I deserve this contract for the following reasons. Don't stand there and smile because it actually undermines your credibility. You yeah. need to be serious with them. One of my favorite books, The Charisma Myth, yes. she talks a lot about that. And she talked, I think she referred to it, and I'm paraphrasing probably, but she referred to it as smiling with intention. Yep. So don't just walk around smiling at everybody. People think you give it out to everybody that you see, but when you smile with intention, it's a power move. Exactly. And so we've been conditioned as women to smile all the time, mm -hmm. to lessen the impact. Yes. And it just diminishes our credibility. So smile when it's appropriate, mm -hmm. and then don't smile when it's not appropriate. Okay. And if you need some cues, look around the room and see what are other people doing in the room at that moment. Right. And if they're not smiling, maybe you shouldn't be smiling. So okay. that's my suggestion. What's okay. one quick tip that women can take to the boardroom to really succeed and be the boss they know they really are? Uh, so two things, walk in with presence, so mm -hmm. be big. And also when you sit down, make sure your chair is level with everybody else. Oh, good one. Or yeah. <laughs> slightly higher. Because when you walk in and your chair is actually lower than everyone else's, mm -hmm. it comes across as you being um, less powerful because yes. people are literally talking down to you. Mm -hmm. So always check out your seat when you walk in. Nice. Yeah. Great tips, Alicia. Nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome.